Trump turns the tables, tape released of Omarosa that she thought were buried by that conservative girl politics, U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com, with former White House aide Omarosa threatening to release tapes of President Donald Trump uh, using that derogatory term. Uh, Trump has turned the tables on her. She thought these recordings of her were buried forever, but she was wrong. Let's spread this everywhere. Omarosa has caused an uproar with a new tell-all book about her experiences in the White House, fired by Donald Trump once again and ga uh, grasping at straws. Now that she was out of a job, Omarosa decided to do what others have done uh, after being booted from the Trump White House, write a tell-all book about the president and his fa uh, family, complete with rumors and slanderous claims, none of which can be confirmed. Among the most uh, audacious of Omarosa's unfounded allegations are that First Lady Melania Trump is counting down the days until her husband is out of office so she can divorce him and that President Trump said the N-word. Both of these ridiculous claims have been disputed by those close to the president, but the media is still allowing Omarosa to go on TV and push her version of the truth. Mrs. Trump rarely is ever in, uh, has ever interacted with Omarosa, Stephanie Grisham, Melania's uh, spokeswoman, uh, said in a statement. It's disappointing to her that she is lashing out and retaliating in such a self-serving way, especially after all the opportunities given, her, given to her by the president. The president also responded on Twitter in his uh, signature style, saying wacky Omarosa got fired three times on The Apprentice now got fired for the last time. She never made it, never will. She begged me for a job, tears in her eyes. I said, okay. People in the White House hated her. She was vicious, but not smart. I would rarely see her, but heard really bad things, nasty to people and would con constantly miss meetings and work. When General Kelly came on board, he told me uh, she was a loser and nothing but problems. I told him, try working it out if, if possible, because... She only said great things about me until she got fired, which is true. Here are his tweets. Despite the fact that nearly every part of Omarosa's book has been uh, disputed by Trump and those close enough to him to know the truth, the disgruntled former staffer embarked on a book tour to promote her tabloid fiction. And of course, the media has been eating it up. They were especially intrigued when Omarosa claimed that she had several tapes that uh, she would be releasing, one in particular, which supposedly captured uh, Trump, uh, yeah, saying that. This uh, has caused the more rational among us to question why Omarosa has been such a fierce supporter of President Trump if she knew all along that he had used such offensive language. But... The press doesn't seem to uh, be co too concerned about that. They're just uh, foaming at the mouth over a chance to smear Trump. No surprise there. Amidst the controversy, the GOP released a video on Thursday that perfectly sums up uh, why you can't uh, trust Omarosa. It's titled, Guess She Forgot About These Tapes. Take a look. I was so happy when Donald Trump declared that he was going to run. You all know him as the president. I know him as a friend. I know his heart. But Donald Trump is a trailblazer on women issues. And not only do I support him as a human being who has incredible character and a great vision, but his policies affect my community where I live in Los Angeles. And that's really why I stand by him. And I believe that you will see that this president is going to be incredible for this country. And I am excited about what's happening with this administration. I'm very honored to be a part of this. He was the right choice for America. When I say Trump train, I want you to say choo-choo. Y'all ready? Trump train! Trump train! Trump train! Well, I guess that sums it up in a nutshell. If President uh, Donald Trump is in fact a racist uh, who used uh, this word during the taping of The Apprentice, as Omarosa claims, then why on earth would uh, she go to work for his presidential campaign? 
and take a high-profile gig working for him in the White House. Why? If Trump is such a racist, evil person, would she so loudly sing his praises over and over again on television and at crowded events? It makes no sense at all unless it's just a big lie. She was paid off by the Clintons. That's what, what took place. You know, the money was good. Well, I hope it set her up for life because I've got news for you. I don't think she's going to be employed after this by anybody. Has Amorosa no integrity? I, I guess not. I guess if the price is right, I don't know. But Or is this whole uh, thing about that word uh, scandal simply a publicity stunt concocted by a woman who has literally made a career out of drawing attention to herself? At this point, it seems quite likely that both are true. If Trump was uh, such a monster, uh, Omarosa should have uh, distanced herself from him immediately, but, she, uh, but he's not, so she didn't, you see? You know, it could be if, if maybe, uh, we know she was trying to sell her book, but somebody gave her money to do this crap because, look, you can't go from one thing to the other into that extreme. If you thought somebody was that, why would you go ask him for a job in the first place? You would be, like, sickened, you know? You, 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 look, the whole thing is a lie. Somebody paid her off just like they paid off Stormy Daniels. That's the whole thing. But I hope the money was worth it because she is, you know, she's educated and everything. She, uh, whatever she is, uh, about bad, whatever. She is educated. Uh, she looks good in the sense of carrying herself uh, and whatnot, but uh, it better set her up her life because this, uh, she had a chance to make something big of herself, you know, and continue working and making great money. But when people see that you do things like that, nobody's gonna wanna hire you after that. So she did, actually destroyed herself. If she has to go to work to make a living, she's in big trouble. I hope the money was good enough for her to come out with this garbage, you know. Stormy Daniels, you know, it, it, she wasn't going to make anything of herself anyway. Whatever money she could grab, it was good for her. No education, you know, from the other side of the tracks. Uh, but this one had a, had a chance to make something of herself, which is very, it, it's quite sad. And it's quite sad to accuse people of something that they actually didn't do, you know? How would you feel if somebody said that about you, that you said things that you didn't say? Boy, uh, you know, it, and, and the thing is that she doesn't recall that she's been on The View and this uh, news channel, the other news channel, uh, praising, singing Trump's praises, that, that this wouldn't come out, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's sad and it's sickening and uh, I hope uh, she, uh, whoever was paying her off to do this, I hope she made enough to support herself for life. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and again, thank you so much for watching.